I guess there's no such thing as virtual coffee, or maybe there is, given these days of Codiv 19 to code the basic minister of uh, education, right? Um, at the last minute, when we knew and heard that President uh, Jacob Zuma was going to meet the top six at Lutuli House physically, we just then uh, found out that it didn't happen physically, right? So they had it virtually when um, the NC Secretary General Ace Mahashule was uh, giving us a feedback. He said that they had technical difficulties, logistic issues, uh, hence they couldn't meet the seven of them in under one roof because of logistical nightmares and whatever that is. But my favorite part of this ANC um, media briefings is Pulemabi. Uh, uh, <laughs> he kills me, you know, trying to cover ground. And each and every single time when uh, Ace Mahashwili is done reading the script, I love the NEC. Um, outcome meetings and so forth and then when he's done there comes a situation where Bule Mabi would want to rush him off stage like it's some sort of a secret service so that he cannot answer questions <laughs> and always um, it's Mahashul is always game to answer questions and that just kills me the same thing happened uh, yesterday after um after uh Isma Kashile finished and then the media wanted to ask questions and uh Pule Mabi said um no we don't we're not going to take questions today we're just here to because of we had a meeting until late we're just going to give you some briefings of what had happened in the meeting. And the media, as usual, wasn't having it. So he eventually said that, okay, we're well, just going to take a few questions. And um, there came the questions. And um, they wanted to ask Isma Hashule regarding our President Jacob Zuma say, and the, to the top six, basically. Like, what did the top six say with regard to um, pre former President Jacob Zuma? Um, saying that it's not going to go to the um, commission they're headed by Zondo. Uh, wouldn't be something that the top six should um, emphasize and uh, stresses it to uh, former President Jacob Zuma so that he should go there. And uh, in one of the statements that Esma Khashule was given, he eventually said that the meeting was great. And obviously there's nothing that they could do now because it was explained to him uh, and the rest of the top six that President Jacob Zuma is consulting his uh, lawyers. And uh, these are one of the things that uh, people should do when you are a free citizen. You should always uh, be able to have the right to, and the access to lawyers. And... Uh, Right in there on the statement that he was giving uh, Isma Hashule, he snuck in the, the, the COVID protocols, so etiquette of washing your hands. Uh, we stressed on the issues of uh, keeping our distance and as well as wearing a mask. So in actual effect, their conversation obviously... Um, uh, Isma Hashule said that obviously they, it was an ANC conversation basically where they spoke about uh, about a whole range of issues, elections, the need for these leaders to be together and keeping the ANC uh, together. Remember, former President Jacob Zuma said that the ANC comes first before the country and the same thing which was said 
um, by President Cyril Ramaphosa saying that if I seem to be weak uh, by the whole people of, of South Africa looking at me and say I'm weak, uh, I'd rather be weak or look weak than to see ANC falling apart. So they are on the same page basically um, in the in the in the ANC. So I suppose it was an issue of optics again. Um, they didn't want to see as everybody been visiting Gandla, like it's a place where they're visiting a king and a queen in the castle to go and pay homage and respect and uh, possibly come up with the groceries like um, uh, what's that at? that's Dudu Mieni also brought the groceries uh, which makes sense because a whole lot of people have been going to Zuma's um, uh, compound there so it, she did well bring groceries so, so other folks could go and eat so I suppose that it wouldn't look good in terms of the optics, seeing the whole top six with the blue light, going to Uganda, and uh, to speak to Jacob Zuma, who had said publicly that he's not going to the commission. So I suppose that's why it took long for the a for my ANC president to meet with the top six, as much as. A couple of weeks ago, even when President uh, Jacob Zuma, together with uh, President Tabumbek, when they went to the NEC, uh, it was said that um, the NEC was set to speak to uh, Jacob Zuma, but he just attended the meeting and uh, the public were never told as to whether they spoke. So it clearly shows that they didn't speak. Uh, everybody got into their blue light motor vehicles and left. And um, so that's the time when um, Julius Malema pounced on the opportunity to go meet the president, to be the bigger guy, to uh, speak to him probably about the constitution, how important it is to obey the constitutional court's uh, rulings, uh, although that didn't materialize, but he started a trend where uh, each and every one of in the ANC and all these organizations and your Women's League, MK veterans, the regional leaders of the ANC, as always follow uh, in anticipation of being reactive to whatever the EFF is doing. So... Here we are now, and uh, you can see at times that one wonders, okay, sometimes it takes a bit long, um, maybe for, for, for judges. In this, in this case, um, um, uh, Deputy Chief Justice uh, Raymond Zondo to take steps like as if he's also politically waiting for the ANC to take a decision. As much as now we know that there's been a date that's been set uh, in the near future for the uh, Constitutional Court um, request that has been made by the, also the Constitutional Court member Raymond Zondo in order to make sure that uh, former President Jacob Zuma does two years in jail um, for disobeying the constitutional court to come over and meet him. So it's um, a little bit a tricky one, but I guess it's one of those things that we've expected that um, the, the ANC uh, General uh, Secretary wouldn't just come out and say, hey, this is what we have said. We spoke to President Jacob Zuma and he says, nah, he's not going to present himself. And uh, number two, we're unhappy with that because we want each and everybody to obey the, 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 the law. And um, 
<laughs> now we're gonna go send Becky Kale to Nkandla to go fetch Jacob Zuma and send him to jail as they were jokingly saying when they're having a tea. Uh, I don't wanna speculate as to whether maybe they had a or Marask, uh, all the, the old school Rasks and stuff. And uh, anyways, um, the minister of um, nightclubs and alcohol, Becky Kele said that he didn't drink the tea. So anyways, that's just my take on the outcome of the top six meeting with the former president, Jacob Zuma. My name is Mamuji and thanks for watching the Mamuji show and I'm out.